In this lesson, I go over how to use categories in WordPress. Categories are a great way to organize your posts in WordPress. To access them, simply click on the Categories button that's underneath your Posts uh, menu item. And when you get there, you can add new categories and even check out categories that you already have listed. As of right now, I only have the Uncategorized category listed, and that comes default with WordPress. You would probably place posts as uncategorized that don't fit into any specific area on your website. But let's say you have a bunch of different related posts, let's say related to video games. You would then probably want to create a category for video games. So we could just simply go ahead and put that in right here. The category slug will basically be what appears in your URL. So if you have your website URL, slash, then you'll have your category slug name. And that will be allow people to access your category to see which posts are in that category. If you leave it blank, it will just simply take what you put up here and put it into a more um, readable format for the URL. So in this case, it'll just, if I leave this blank, it'll just fill it in as video um, dash games and that will be it. But you can customize that if you wish. The category parent, relies on if you have more categories and you want to subcategorize a certain category. So let's say for instance you have the video games category already created. Let's say you want to create a Xbox 360 category underneath the video games category. You can simply do that by selecting the video games category from that list. And again, that's more for just organizing and if you choose to do that, you don't have to do sub subcategories if you don't want to. Finally, the description allows you to just simply put a description on the back end so you know what categories are what. In this case, we could put something like, this category is used for video game posts. That way, in the list here, you'll know what it's for. So we'll just simply go ahead here and add a category when we're done. And there you go, you have it in your list. And it'll also indicate how many posts you have in each category at this moment. And again, just to show you, let me create an Xbox 360 category really quick. And I'll use the parent category as video games. And I'll just leave the description blank. And we add the category. You can see now that it is underneath that certain category. And now, just to quickly demonstrate this, if we go to add new post, and you'll see that we now have those two categories that we created down there. You can also add categories right here. And you can they'll, of course, be added to your categories list on your menu. And you can go ahead and edit those at any time you want. So it works both ways. Anyway, that is how you add and edit categories. Again, it's pretty important to keep things organized on your website. And so learning how to use categories well will be a very good way to keep your website successful and organized. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. I have more tutorials coming soon, so stay tuned.